Greece is quite literally a work of art come to life. Like Journey Inside the Nabzu before it, it's a video game that reinforces the idea that games are indeed an art form. Where Journey and Nabzu's adventures took you on more whimsical experiences, Greece offers a beautiful experience when encapsulated in a deep sense of isolation. As the Spanish developers know about the studio's first game, they certainly set the bar pretty high. Our story begins with Gris, this young beautiful girl filled with life and color. With their magical voice, Gris fills her reality with astonishing looking views. However, it all quickly falls apart for her, quite literally leaving her in a world of Gris, the Spanish word for grey. Broken and shattered, Greece must journey through this sorrow as she tries to overcome the feeling of pain and loss that's surrounding her. That sorrow is manifested in her long dress that weighs her down at first, but then as the story progresses, it becomes a vital asset to her. It'll begin to earn new abilities that reveal new paths for her, shining a new light on her world and offering a new perspective on reality. What you get out of the story is surely going to be subjective as it can be interpreted in a handful of different ways. For me, it was a journey of overcoming a heavy loss and despite being in a bad place, being able to see the joy of the world around you, even in the darkest of times. Enamored by the art and charm of this world, I got lost on this adventure that I was so happy to be a part of. If I could describe Greece's gameplay, I would describe it as working on a painting. At the start of her journey, Greece is dropped into this colorless world with just the ability to walk. Even then, she stumbles a few times with this heavy feeling of loss setting in. That doesn't keep her or you down though. As you continue the story running through a series of platforming sequences, you'll come across these orbs of light. Scavenging to the tallest structures or hidden away in the land's crevices, these orbs are used to solve these pretty straightforward puzzles that create new pathways for you to explore. As you make your way through these paths, your dress of sorrow earns new abilities that help you traverse the ever-changing world. For example, early on you earn the ability to make your dress heavier, letting you break through cracks in the floor to explore new areas. That then becomes a factor later on where you have to use the heavier weight to hold yourself down in front of obstacles. That tends to be a lot of Grease's gameplay, using your abilities to solve puzzles and find the rest of the light orbs. I don't want to go too deep into details in this review just because the campaign itself can only last about 3 hours and I don't want to give away every single ability in the campaign. I'll just say that each one provided a new look into the world that somehow managed to keep me surprised with every new ability. It's not challenging by any means, but solving the puzzles that each ability offered was therapeutic in a sense. It's gameplay that really anyone can pick up and finish in a single sitting, like many other artful games that help inspire Greece. Like those games before it, it's not about the challenge or the mind-boggling puzzles, but rather the feelings that you experience playing. In that same essence, Greece manages to live up to the ranks, making me feel shades of isolation, melancholy, and joy all within the same game. Now aside from the main objectives of collecting the light orbs and the new powers, there are optional challenges in the world that you can seek out. While they may not be up in your face at first, those that wander around through the world with curiosity are rewarded with the longer playtime because of it. You can even go back post-game to complete these challenges loading up the previous chapters of the story. Where do I even begin with this? Greece is marvelous. It's a picture that speaks louder than words. Right at the start of the adventure, you're floored by the stunning art on display that feels like pages of a sketchbook are coming to life. The vibrant watercolors immerse you in what feels like a warm hug but slowly falls apart as the world inside the game does as well. It perfectly conveys all the feelings that Greece herself is going through. Hope, despair, loss, and solitude. It's a heartwarming and crushing opening to a game that perfectly describes what this adventure is going to be like. As you explore the world and find your light, the color will begin to return to the world, in part showing you the wonder of what was lost before. It's an experience that never got old. With every new color added to the world, my jaw dropped to see what it could bring back for the setting at hand. I played both on the Nintendo Switch and on PC, and while both platforms were perfectly fine, I preferred playing on PC for this one. While the bite-sized length of the game makes it perfect for the Switch's portability, I found myself gravitating towards playing on a big screen TV with a nice pair of headphones for the full experience.
And that full experience includes the music because it is heart pounding. I found myself constantly being taken back when new colors would be introduced to the world. While the visuals themselves were gorgeous, the music that played behind these moments really got to me. The strings and pianos sent shivers down my spine and I think that's also thanks to how selective the game is with music. A lot of the game doesn't really have music behind it, instead you'll just hear ambient noise of the wind and nature in the background. When the music does come up though, it leaves a mark on that scene that's playing and it's elevated because of it. Greece will no doubt be remembered for its unique and breathtaking art style, but its music deserves just as much praise. En última instancia, Gris es un juego que apunta a tocar tu corazón con sentimientos de solidaridad y desesperación, a la vez que te muestra la luz de esperanza. Ultimately, Gris is a game that aims to touch your heart with feelings of solitude and despair while showing you the light at the end of the tunnel. Su simplicidad acompañada por su hermoso arte hace que sea accesible para casi cualquier persona, al mismo tiempo que cautivan a quienes la juegan. Its simplicity, accompanied with its beautiful art, makes it approachable to just about anyone while also easily captivating those that decide to play it. Ahora me dejaron escuchando mi música triste en Spotify tratando de controlar todas estas emociones. Now the only problem is I'm stuck here listening to my sad boy Spotify playlist trying to cope with all these feelings. I give Grease a 10 out of 10, and no I did not plan to drop two of those back to back. Thanks so much for watching my review, if you liked it then consider sharing it around and subscribing, I upload new reviews on the latest video games every single week. You can also find my gaming usernames and social network links in the description down below. Hope you all have a great day, and keep on gaming.